Corporal Thomas Harton of the United States Marine Corps. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> U.S. Marine Corporal Thomas Harton returning home from overseas this weekend to surprise his brother Scott at his high school graduation. He presented him with his diploma, as you just saw. Thomas's flight home for the reunion was made possible by the nonprofit organization Helping Heroes Fly. We are now joined by Corporal Thomas Harton and his brother Scott. They are with us from Colorado. Gentlemen, good to be with you. Thanks for taking time out for us on this Memorial Day weekend. How are you both feeling after the events of yesterday? Scott, were you expecting to see your brother? I know you weren't expecting to see him yesterday, but were you expecting <laughs> to see him anytime soon? Any visits planned? Or this totally blindsided you? No. So how it, how it happened was I, 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 I've never, I haven't seen him in a long time. And it's, it's, I, as soon as they said it from overseas, I was like, no way. And I was blown away. And I was actually texting him. Uh, right before we went out, I was like, I miss you, man. I wish you were here for this. When you coming home, dog? And he was... I was telling him, yeah, I wish I could be there if I could. I totally convinced him that I was still overseas. Yeah, he, didn't I, have, he had, had no, no idea. And, and it, was, it was crazy. I was overwhelmed with emotion, uh, as you can see from the video, I'm sure. But, yeah, it was crazy. You could see that. It was very genuine. It was very moving to see that. I, like, watching it, we all kind of lived through the surprise and then the excitement with you. What did you think when you like in that first second when you realized your brother was coming out onto the stage what did you think first so at first what happened was my AP government teacher was like kind of like moving me to the side and kind of like uh, <laughs> he was fixing my tie and originally there was like 30 seconds went by and I was like I am not delaying the graduation because I cannot tie a tie right now and it was I it was like okay Scott and I was like sorry buddy oh well and then he came out, and I ran away, ran to the side, and I was so, I was like, whoa. And I saw him, I gave him a big hug, and missed his kid. <laughs> but, That's uh, really cool. look on his face made it worth it. And Thomas, yeah. you know, you've been deployed multiple times. Thank you for your service. When is the last time you got to be part of a major family event like that, before yesterday? I would say about two and a half years ago. Wow. I was two here briefly years. for about 10 days in the last two years, but about two and a half years ago, yes. <laughs> so what was yeah. it like for, you know, how meaningful was it, um, you know, when your mom reached out and this idea started coming together? It was very meaningful. They, uh, they definitely didn't see me coming, and I took them all by surprise. I haven't been here to support him for a lot of things in the last two years, so it was great to support him on his big day, graduating high school. Scott, you've been, I understand, so inspired by your older brother's service that you've started an initiative of your own supporting service members. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes, ma'am. So uh, when he was in boot camp, uh, he would write us letters uh, as that was the only way to, to talk to us uh, in boot camp. And... Uh, he would write about all the uh, SAMs, we call them, the, they're called the SAMs for uh, standalone members, is what they are. And they go through boot camp uh, without family to support them, without friends to like uh, cheer them on their journey. So I was in my, uh, my integrated uh, history class and we were learning about uh, Vietnam and all, all the service mem members and all that they went through and how, how much freedom cost to them um, and what, what price they had to pay for that. And I was thinking while he was in boot camp, I was like, well, I got a room with 60 kids here. Let's let's all write a, a one-page letter to the Marines over at the boot camp and ins inspire them and uh, say how much we're thankful for, for their service and uh, how much their sacrifice means to us. So we got a room full of 60 kids. Uh, me and my mother, uh, we read through them all. We got them in envelopes, sent them over to this big guy over there, uh, and he passed them out to his uh, his squad bay. And then uh, every year since then, uh, we've done uh, this program. We called it um, Operation More Than Me. And um, we have been doing this for three years. Uh, I just finished the third years of letters. Um, so we're going to look into send those out soon. Well, Scott, it over, sounds uh, like the initiative is already going well. We hardly have to wish you good luck with it. But we hope that it continues to grow. Thank you for all of your efforts. Thomas, thank you for your service. And thank you both for sharing your stories with us on this Memorial Day weekend. Leland. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you.
Good fellas. The tornado that tore through Missouri's capital.